Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another Monday video with me for Lavinia Stamps. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this super bright card using one of the brand new release stamps called Bumble Lodge. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm also using a stencil called White Orbs and Pebble in the bottom. Then I'm going to be using some foliage stamps called Spanish Moss and some of the small little foliage from the new release too. Wow. I love doing super bright cards. If you want to follow me on my crafty journey on my YouTube channel, I'm Karen Telfer. On my Instagram and Facebook pages, I'm Karen Telfer Craft. I'd love to see you there. I also do online workshops and soon we'll be back in person. So the card size that I'm going to be using 10 and a half centimeters by 18 centimeters and if you want that in inches it's four and a quarter inches by seven inches that's my card blank the colors that i'm going to be using for my background here i've got mustard seed and kitched flamingo that's what's given us that super bright background and then around the edge i've used seedless preserve and I'm also using Seedless Preserve and Dusty Concord to colour in the thatch on this lovely little Bumble Lodge. For some of my foliage stamping, these are the colours that I'm going to be using. I love using Versafine Clairs because they give me a super bright, sharp, crisp image. Chianti, Nocturne, Charming Pink and Fantasia. got two stencils. I've got white orbs and pebbles. So the only other thing that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a paintbrush, my spritzy bottle, my white pen, you can use a Posca pen too, and a couple of either a blending brush, these are gorgeous soft blending brushes, or my smoothies. So we are going to get started. So as I said, the size card that I'm going to be using, 10 and a half centimetres by 18, I'm going to bring in my piece of acetate, which is what I use when I'm filming to smush my colours on. Take mustard seed, squish it onto my mat and take my little spritzy bottle and give it a good squirt. I'm then going to take my card and give a generous amount of colour, just smushing it straight down onto the colour like that. I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to come back in with Kitsch Flamingo and do the same. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lovely Bumble Lodge and I'm going to ink it up with Versafine Clear Nocturne. I'm going to start with the main focal image because that gives me a proportion and something to work around when I'm creating my picture. Just to say that the card that I'm using is multifarious cardstock, which is from Lavinia. If you can't get that, then a super smooth card, about 300 GSM. The multifarious cardstock from Lavinia is 330 GSM, but a 300 would work just as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little Bumble Lodge with this yellow in the middle there, because that's going to give us this lovely bright glow in the centre of our card. There we have it. The detail on these stamps is quite incredible. Tracy is so clever at this. 
Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mini foliage stamp. It's lovely. This is one of the mini wildflower stamps. Wildflower is one of the first Lavinia stamps that I ever had. Um, and Tracy just bought out this mini version. So I'm very grateful to her for that. I'm going to use two colours in VersaFine Clear. I'm going to use Charming Pink and Fantasia. I'm going to start with my Charming Pink. And many of you know that I take my ink pad to my stamp because that way I feel like I've got a bit more control. And the lovely thing about this, look, let me show you. The lovely thing about this stamp is Tracy's included some grass at the bottom of it as well. So... I'm just going to stamp a few of these around the bottom of the card. Starting with this charming pink colour. And then I'm going to use Fantasia. It just gives a bit of depth, a bit of contrast to the bottom of my card. I'm going to do a tall one in the corner. There we go. Might just do another couple there, popping out at the bottom. Now, one of the other stamps in the new release is, oh my goodness, it's some grass. Look at that. So I'm going to ink up that in Fantasia. And I'm just going to put a bit of that at the bottom of this card here. So we've just got a bit poking up at the bottom. Let me just clean this stamp off first. I do like to try to clean my stamp straight away, especially if I'm using a dark colour. So I just spritz it with a bit of water and use my cloth to wipe it clean and put it away like that. I'm going to do that the same with the little foliage stamp that I just used. Lovely. Now we're going to come in with the top and we're going to use Spanish moss. When you buy this set, you get two. You get this big, thicker foliage with Spanish moss, and then you get this tiny, wispy bit. We're actually going to use both today. And I'm going to take Chianti. And I'm going to drape it all the way around the edge. Different heights to create interest and variety. And then I'm going to take this lovely little stamp, which is called, it's, you get three in the set. They're called charms. They are so lovely. And I'm actually going to use Charming Pink. And I'm going to pop this at various intervals, just popping through the foliage at the top here. Different heights again. Voila. Okay, now I'm just going to give that a blast with a heat gun and then I'm going to go around the edge with Seedless Preserve and frame the whole picture.
Then I'm going to take my little pebble stencil. This is lovely for creating just a bit of extra stones, a bit of extra pebbles at the bottom of our card here. Take my smoothie and my seedless preserve. I'm not going to dab it because I've got quite a lot from doing the edge. And I'm just going to gently, lightly create a bit of extra depth stones at the bottom of my card. And then I'm going to take white orbs. And actually for this card I want, on this stencil you get the large orbs and the small orbs on the same stencil. For this card I want the smaller orbs. So I'm just going to position this stencil so that the orbs that I'm going to colour in will be coming this way around our little cottage. And then I'm just going to take my smoothie. Just as easily you could use your blending brush and I'm just going to lightly, I don't want these too hard, but what you do want is you want a contrast. So some of them you want a bit darker than others and others you just want them a hint of an orb. The ones on the edge you want a bit darker. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. There we go. Just orient it. So again, going in a bit harder. I'm going to give myself a bit of ink there. Going a bit harder around the edge. And this just gently, a hint of an orb around this little cottage. Just kind of trying to give it a bit of a magical theme. There we go. Just adds a bit of magic to it. Right, now some little white dots. This really does create a bit of magic. Like I say, you can use your Posca pen. Any white that the white pen that I'm using here is a Uniball Signa. Um, I love these. It doesn't block, blotch. It doesn't. Um, what's the word I'm looking for when it sticks? And anyway, it works well. <laughs> Can't think of the right word, but I'm just going to dot all around the top and all around the bottom. That's just going to add again to this magical feel. we go. Okay and then finally to create um, a real focal point on our little bumble cottage I'm going to take both Dusty Concord and Seedless Preserve and I'm going to take my blending mat and just squish a bit of both colours onto it. It's interesting this Dusty Concord is a bit of a sort of purpley bluish hue so I'm just a tiny bit of water and then a very thin paintbrush. Actually, what I'm using here is a chisel brush. I don't know if you can see it's got a slanted edge, but whatever paintbrush you like. And I'm not going to be too careful here. And I'm just going to, you can see what I'm doing here is just creating a bit of an ink. And... I'm not being too careful with how I am drawing this ink up. Bear in mind, I'm not great with where the, where the light source goes and where the colour goes, but these bands around the lodge or cottage, they will create a bit of a shadow. So underneath where they are, you'll want a bit of a darker colour. So... Again, that's why I'm using this chisel brush so that I don't get too much of a straight edge. I'm going quite quickly because again, then it's not too contrived and my result is a bit more random 
than if I'd have gone very carefully. What I'm going to do at the end is I'm going to go over these little bands with my white pen. So it doesn't matter if you colour in the lines. So that's what I ended up with on my original. I'm not copying the original, so I'm just feeling it as I go. Putting some dark down in different places and then picking up that seedless preserve. This one's Dusty Concord. And I'm just going to draw them together. And of course, you've got the yellow behind it as well. So on there, I'm just going to add a bit more water and let the yellow come through. So it looks actually like I've got a whole variety of colours in my thatched roof. There we have it. And now I'm going to take my white pen and I'm just going to go around these little bands. So there we have it. You can see then that I went back. Once I'd done the top, the thatch, I then went back and randomly between the two colours, Seedless Preserve and Dusty Concord, I coloured in some of the bricks. And then I'm finally, I took my white pen and we're just going to create some random dots in and amongst the stones on the path. Always what you want to do here is not colour them all in completely because by doing that it just shows a bit of extra depth as the light shines on it. So there we have our gorgeous little cottage with some of the brand new Lavinia stamps. I do hope you enjoyed that. I would love to see what you make. Please tag me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.